experience has been with the MEO satellites, not the LEO satellites. Uh, with MEO, and that's specifically with O3B, uh, we have been working with O3B for probably 11 years uh, and delivering product to them for somewhere around seven years. Actually fielded and operational maybe for five. Uh, been very good success uh, They for our trunking set of products, trunking modems. Uh, O3B has been a very good customer. Uh, we have done some configuration changes for them and uh, but essentially it's the same product that has a different load of firmware that can make it useful on, on O3B. Uh, and we are taking our Heights platform and making a MEO compatible version of it too. So we have the, with the MEO experience there. Um, with the LEOs, there, in the future where there are LEO systems, there are opportunities, of course, for ourselves and for others that are building ground segment equipment. For those that want to connect to teleports, I think there is a commercial and there's a technical side of that. The technical side of it is, it's probably twofold. Is it an open or closed LEO system? And if it's closed, then clearly it's, it would be difficult. If it's open, terrific. Uh, there's, there's opportunity to be able to bring traffic in and out of a, a teleport. But the second, of course, is also, is it in a gateway beam, if that, if that is an issue with a, uh, from a technical side. From the commercial side, it really is. Does it make sense to use the LEO connection versus an alternative? And an alternative could be fiber for backhaul. It was certainly probably would not be a geo for backhaul. Could be MEO. Um, but mostly, it's, it's does it make commercial sense to use it? There are some systems that it probably does, especially if the, if the connection is a very high throughput. I think that the Leos think this way also, that it, it's better to have success with many of them than to have failure with one of them. It's in any kind of business. You know, you don't want to be the Betamax. You want to be the one that's su successful. The standard that's successful or the business that's successful and make everything go forward. So that's where we're, we're looking at it. We want them all to be successful. Will we have opportunities to participate with that? Even as, as basic as selling equipment into that? Perhaps. Not with all of them, because there are designs that are on the table that are definitely proprietary. But there are others where uh, they are quite open. And we can see that being another growth area in the industry. If Leo's become successful, are they going, that, that question sort of leads you down the road of if Leo's become successful, is there a downside in another part of the satellite industry, say, on the geo side? Probably not. It could be that, and pardon me, but I don't remember who said this, but I remember this in a, in a, uh, on a panel, that it could be that it evolves such that in 10 years time, geos do what geos originally did well, which was broadcast, and Leos and Mios are doing point-to-point -point connectivity, sort of more mimicking what the, the internet is built like. Uh, there are some Leo networks that could be very, uh, they could be very disruptive. And those, we wish them great success.